Greetings and welcome back. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and this is part three of the awesome inventory system. What we're going to be doing in this part is taking care of drawing the rest of our inventory and being able to select an item and display the description of that. So let's jump back into it and I'm picking up exactly where we left off inside of the draw event. Now what we're going to do in here is add in a secondary for loop that is going to go through and gather all of the information about each item that we have selected. So we're going to say for j equals zero and j is less than player inventory width which is the global variable that we set up and it's going to increase by one each time. Ooh, wrong bracket. Now, the way you can envision this is that uh, we need to take this one and actually add it right there. The way to envision this is that we need to go through the every single uh, index of the variable, of the inventory that we have. And if you remember, the 2D array looks like this. So we've got name over here, and then we have amount, and so on and so forth. So we need to have two for loops because we need to come down to the first item, and then we need to go this way. And we need to go all the way through here, and then when we're done, we jump up one and go all the way through again, displaying all of the information, getting all the information that we need out of it. And to do that, we use two for loops. Now, to draw it correctly, we need to put in some if statements. So we're actually gonna say if j, is equal to zero, then we are going to draw this, the name, exactly where we want it to. Because we need to draw things like the, the sprite image and the name in specific columns, we need to take control of that. And the way we do that is by checking to see which value J has. And if it's a specific value that we want, we draw it where we want it to go. So the next one is if J is equal to one, that's the amount. So then we're gonna draw text and this will be item left start plus 140, item top start plus, again, i times 32. And then we need to get the, um, the amount, which is done through ds grid get. And this is going to be my items, 1, because that is where the amount is, i, which is the first for loop we're doing, which is taking care of the y-axis, the items in our list, and then we have our amount that we are drawing, which is perfect. And then we want to draw the sprite, and that's going to be if j is equal to 3, then we are going to draw sprite. And the sprite we want to draw is the first thing we need to give it, so we're going to say ds grid get my items. And the x and y position is going to be j, because we're, the x position is j here in this double for loop. And then we have i being the actual y coordinate that we want. And that will get the sprite. And now we want the first image of it, which is the first sub-image. And the x and y position for here needs to be b box left plus 40, item top start plus i times 32, now, we need to do one more addition here, plus 16. And that's because our sprite is actually 32 by 32, and we need to put that directly in the middle of where we are looking at. And adding the 16 will do that. Now, if I run this, our sprite and our amount should also show up for the items that we have in our inventory. So let's pick these up, and voila, we have our images and our amount. So with that, now we have our items being displayed from our inventory properly. So what we want to do is actually come back into our OBJ inventory, and I'm going to just throw in uh, some items into our inventory to fill it up to make sure that it is displaying properly and that we have a full inventory so that when we start doing scrolling in the next part, we are going to have that ready to go. So I'm actually just going to copy that from mine, but I will pause for a second and I'll sh and allow you to kind of create your own thing. So this is everything that I have right here. I'm just calling the add item script and filling it in with all of the sprites that I have, all of the items right here. So you can pause this and then you can do this yourself if you want, or you can download this project and copy it or do 
really whatever you want. I took a long time to actually come up with the names and got the sprites right, so that is all there. Now, the things that might break really quick are right here are functions that we have not created yet, so we'll take those out, and then we should be okay. Now, let's run this and check, because now that we've filled it up, our initial if statement should show that we are only gonna create that many items, even though we have like 15, 16 items in our inventory. So that works perfect. Now, what we wanna do next is actually be able to show and select different items in our inventory. To do that, we're gonna come back to OBJ Inventory GUI, and we are going to come down here and we're going to create a rectangle around the selected item and then we are going to be able to move that rectangle and we're going to show that we are actually looking at a specific item when we're doing that. So what we're going to do is use the function draw rectangle and we need to provide four values of the x and y coordinates and it's going to draw a rectangle around that and then we decide if it is an outline or not. So the values that I am going to use I have worked around and figured out exactly what I need for this inventory display. So it's going to be B box left plus text border, item top start plus item selected times 32, and item selected is what we're going to use to change our selection. Uh, B box right minus text border, and then item top start plus item selected times 32 and then we're going to add 32 to this because we need to start it at one down because uh, that we're adding the plus 32 because the border is basically you know we don't want it to start over the names here we need it to start where it needs to begin I'll show you that in just a second we'll write true and then if we press run and I pick up an item, the border is going to be around the first item selected. Okay, there we have it right there. So that plus 32 gets us in the correct spot for exactly where we need that Y coordinate to be. Now we can't move it yet, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to come up here, and we're going to add an event, and I'm actually going to use mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up. You can use any keyboard event you want here, or any event that you want. And what we're actually gonna do is create two scripts that go up and down accordingly. So those scripts are going to be uh, scroll down and scroll up. And then you can just call these scripts whenever you want to go up or go down inside of your inventory, which makes it very simple. So inside of down, what we want to do is say item selected, which is where we are choosing and where we're actually scrolling through our items. It's going to equal clamp, which is a function that takes a variable, and this time we're going to put item selected in here, and tells it to either, it can go this high or this low, and it won't let it go outside of those values. So this is a really handy function because if you don't want a value to go beyond something, you can keep it clamped with this function. And we need this value to be clamped because we are going to be moving between items and if we were to ever go outside of the grid and try to say select item 16 when there are only 15, it is going to throw an error and the game will crash. So we're gonna clamp this value and the way I use it is right here. So I'm going to try to increase it and then assign that increase to my variable, but I'm going to say that it can't go below zero and that it can't go above DS grid height of my items and it's going to be minus one. Now my items is only in OBJ inventory GUI, which is where we are going to be calling the script from. So that's totally fine. Now, if you were to change where you're calling it from, you might have an issue with my items. So, we're gonna go to scroll up and do basically the exact same thing, but in a reverse manner. So we're gonna say item selected equals clamp, minus minus, item selected, zero, and DS grid height, my items, minus one. And then we are going to be able to move up and down our inventory once we put in these functions. So we're gonna say a mouse wheel down, 
we're going to scroll down. And then mouse wheel up, we're going to scroll up. And so you can see that we can move this up and we can move it down. Right now we can go beyond the inventory, but we can't get an error because of that clamp that we've set up. So that's a really good start. Now what I want to do before we get into scrolling is to show you how to access the description of all of these items and actually display that. So right here underneath uh, draw rectangle, once we get to the end of it, very long one, um, we're going to draw a sprite, and the sprite we're going to draw is just like a description box, and then we're going to get the description of the item, and then we're going to draw that inside of that box. So, what we're going to do is say, draw sprite, draw sprite SPR item box, zero sub-image, and we're going to draw this of the BB box right of ours, where we are right now, we're gonna get the X offset <clears throat> of the sprite item box. And then we're going to set it over room height minus sprite get Y offset SPR item box. So now we're gonna draw that right there. And then what we wanna do when we are drawing that we want to draw the text of our item that we have selected. But if we don't have an item selected, we need to draw the is empty message. So we need to put that in right here. So instead of just always drawing the description, we need to have an if statement that says if is empty, draw text, uh, draw text ext, extended text just means that we can say if it exceeds our width limit, make it into multiple lines, which is very handy. This is going to be BB box right plus 50, room height minus sprite get Y offset of sprite item box. So again, that's a very useful function to be able to get. And we need to then subtract that by 100 to bring it into the right spot. And the text that we want to put in there is empty message. The separation is 32 and the width is actually the sprite get width. And this is the width of the sprite item box. That way it can't go beyond the item box. And then we need to subtract the text border that we have. That way it stays within the border of the inventory that we're drawing. Uh, <clears throat> stays inside the text box that we're drawing. So if it is not empty, what we want to do is basically draw the exact same thing. So copy this, paste it right there. We're going to change the empty message to DS grid get, and the ID is going to be my items. The X position we know is two because that is the description and the Y is the item selected. Close that. And then that's what it's going to draw. Now we want to change this first value to plus 15, just because it's going to be a little bit different. And when we draw the is empty message, we know what that's going to be so we can change its spot. Now, if I press I, you can see here that I am drawing this text box and we are drawing the descriptions of everything inside of here. So we can go all the way down. This doesn't move, but you can see that we are changing what we are looking at. And if we come into OBJ inventory and I comment this whole line out, we can check the is empty message and make sure that it is working as well. So we've no items, but this still gets drawn and that is just a designer thing. I want it there. If you don't, then you could probably just put that inside of the if is empty, then don't draw this, otherwise draw it. So. I have it there, but you don't have to. But that's what I've got for you in this part. We have made a inventory that now we can look at. Now you can see and get an idea of how to actually access the information built into your inventory, and then you can do things with that. And now you can move and actually choose different items in that inventory. What we're gonna do next is set up scrolling so that you can actually move through your inventory and eventually you'll be able to use the items and get rid of the items as you so desire. So that's it for this part though. Thank you for joining me. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If you like it, please subscribe, share, get this out there. I think it's really great and I want everyone to see it. 
Thank you very much for watching. As always, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later. If you find the content on my channel useful and you like it, consider supporting me on Patreon. All of the people on the screen are doing so, and they are awesome, and they get rewards, and you can join them. So, uh, thank you for your time, and have a wonderful day.